this one. Can nobody tell me nothing? Can nobody tell me nothing? What is up, you guys? Welcome to today's video. It's your girl, Laxmi, and I am back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Laxmi. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you boo are already part of the excited squad just by clicking on this video so might as well join the squad because we are on our road to 10k and hopefully 100k this year i am i am manifesting it i'm speaking it into existence it's happening as you have seen on the title of today's video today i'm coming to you guys with my 2021 favorites so i'm basically going to be talking to you guys about the favorite items that i had for last year i know it is january 21st Listen, your girl has been sick with COVID. Her kids have been sick with COVID. Her boyfriend has been sick with COVID. Your girlfriend had a brand new puppy. I, I've been going through it. So, you know, I, now is when I'm like, okay, I know it's the end of January, but better late than never, correct? Correct. Anyway, if you are interested in watching this video, stay tuned. All right, so I do have a list of a lot of stuff i'm gonna try to keep it as organized as i possibly can um but i can't make no promises because if you guys have been here for a while you guys know what's up i just throw things as i go um these things are basically a mixture of like things you can eat beauty books just random stuff that i felt like i just found myself going for a lot last year now it's not a lot a lot of stuff and it's a lot of random things but th i'm just being honest this is, this is the kind of stuff that i was just always I, I always had with me pretty much for the year of 2021 now there are some items here that i just got at the end of the year but they're probably like some of my favorite things that I got. You guys hear barking in the background. I'm sorry, my dogs are just doing the most, to say the least. So, yeah. I went ahead and made a list of the items that I have just so I can keep things organized. So I'm going to go ahead and try to check them off my list. The first item that I want to talk about is going to be this one right here. And this is my second bottle of this. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E Skin Therapy Oil. This one is for scars, stretch marks, dry, damaged skin, uneven skin tone, and aging skin. I cannot tell you guys how much I love this freaking oil. Now, the thing with this is that it is an oil, but it's not greasy. And you see, it's very, very liquidy. I can't put it into words how amazing it is. I bought it just because, you know, your girl has stretch marks, your girl has marks, your girl has like imperfections on her skin that i wanted to improve and sort of like just take care of my skin all around let me show you guys and it smells like chocolate like chocolates i cannot i can kid you not look how beautiful and moisturized my hands look after like applying that and i promise you it is not greasy at all it's just so soothing and so moisturizing i have been wearing this literally the whole year and i'm almost out of this one and i'm gonna go ahead and buy a new one because i literally put this on on my feet on my hands my butt area my stomach sometimes on my chest right before bed and after the shower amazing definitely recommend super good i'm gonna try to leave the things linked down below i can't make any promises because if i can't find the items i can't find the items but this one target target the next item that I want to talk about is a little bit more on the intimate side. So guys, you can hop off the video real quick. Um, it's going to be this one right here. I'm sure a lot of you ladies are probably familiar with this. If you're not familiar with this, this is the Vagisil Sensitive Sense Peach Blossom Dry Wash. So basically, this is like a scented spray for our ladies' private areas. I believe men can use this as well because sweaty balls don't smell nice just saying but anyway um i use this on the days that i have my cycle and i don't actually apply it directly on my private parts like it's supposed to i actually spray this over my underwear and over my pad when i have my period just to you know just to feel fresher and just to know that if you know i were to make any sudden moves there's not gonna be no craziness coming up and you know Listen, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. But yes, I feel like this have been working wonders, especially because it gives you that confidence and you feel like, okay, I'm good, I'm secure, I'm locked in, ain't nothing happening. 
Um, this one you can spray directly on your private parts, like not in the inside, but like, you know, sprayed in the area. I don't like to do that because I don't like to put these kind of things on my private parts, even though it's designed for that. I just don't like doing that directly. So I sprayed on my underwear and I sprayed on my pads or like my panty liners if I feel like, you know, I'm going to have a long day or I'm on my period and I might need like a little bit of a backup just to make sure your girl always stays fresh. Yes, this is the one that I use. This is my favorite fragrance, my favorite scent. They have a bunch of different ones, but the peach one, A1. Also get this at Target. The next item that I want to talk about is this one right here. And I believe I've probably mentioned this one before. Um, I've been using this one for over a year and a half now. This is the La Ro I don't know how you pronounce it. This is French. I only speak English. Hablo Espanol, Pablo Italiano. Um, this one is La Roche Pose Laboratories medicated gel cleanser with effaclar i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what it is so it's basically it's basically like a gel cleanser and it's supposed to be like acne fighting i found out about this brand through tiktok and i actually went ahead and bought it this one has two percent salicylic acid i do have to tell you guys this has helped me so much with my acne as if you guys are ogs if you guys have been here for a while you guys know that for me my acne can be very intense when it gets out of control i used to suffer from really bad hormonal and cystic acne and I tried so many different things and I literally had to spend thousands of dollars on expensive and non-expensive skincare products until I found things that worked. But after you use something for a while, your skin kind of gets used to it, so you have to switch it up. So I went through a period where my face was just not having it. And I tried this out and oh my goodness, this is so good. I'm actually almost out of this, but this is what the bottle looks like. It's really, really good. I believe this was maybe like $15. I also bought this at Target. They have the whole collection there. Actually, I lied. I bought this at Ulta Beauty. Sorry, I have them both right next door to my house, so I keep getting confused. But I bought this at Ulta. They have the whole collection. They have a lot of amazing things. And I haven't really tried a lot of the other products. I think I've only tried like three other ones. But this one for sure is my favorite. And it does what it says it's going to do. It helps you fight acne so freaking good the next item that i want to talk about is going to be this one right here and i believe you guys have heard me talk about this guy a lot before because this is a holy grail of mine if you know anything about me you know your girl does not play when it comes to her spf especially since you guys know that i had a lot of hyperpigmentation in the past and i do not want to go back to those days even though i still have some marks on my face i am trying really really hard to take care of my skin just to prevent from those marks getting deeper darker wider all that nonsense so spf is most definitely a must for for me my favorite brand of spf is super goop i've tried like five different types that they have and i love them all but this one is by far my favorite this one is the super goop unseen sunscreen spf 40 and the reason why this one is my favorite is because this one has like a mattifying effect if you know anything about me you know your girl has oily skin oily skin and you can already see because i've had this makeup on for like seven hours and i can't even believe i am not filming with fresh makeup but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I have very oily skin and I don't like the fact that SPF sometimes makes your face look extra like dewy, shiny, glossy. Now, mind you, the dew is the dew for the women who can rock it. But girls like me who have a frying pan on their face, I cannot. The dew is not for me. So do you, boo-boo. <laughs> anyway yes this one is so so good because this one has like a mattifying effect i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit to the back of my hand if you can see right there it's a little cloudy i don't know if you guys can tell but I, it has a mattifying effect i'm gonna go ahead and put it on it's so soft so smooth it doesn't really have a strong fragrance at all like it doesn't have a fragrance at all i don't know if you guys can tell from having the oil yeah, it doesn't have a fragrance at all. It's very, very soft. And it's honestly an amazing, amazing like primer for your face before you put your foundation on because it makes it glide on. Definitely one of my favorite ones. Definitely recommend. If you guys have not tried wearing SPF, please wear SPF. Every time I go to work, I tell my friend Mekki, do you want SPF? She'd be like, no. I'm like, stank. Wear SPF. Also, the SPF, I buy it at Ulta or I buy it at Sephora. Next item is going to be this guy right here. 
listen listen i cannot i have this in my purse i have one in my car and i have one on my nightstand this is a cuticle oil and basically this is what it looks like you go ahead and you like turn this up and then you basically just apply like the cuticle oil to your cuticles because it's you know cuticle oil i sometimes apply it also to my nail but this is basically what it is and this is just to keep your cuticles moisturized and looking healthy because who wants crusty hands? I have to tell you guys, you remember how it was before when we started this channel. Your girl had always like busted nails. Your girl's nail game has been on point. Knock on wood, your girl's nails have been on point and I've been taking extra good care of my hands because listen, we don't got the time for crusty and dusty nails and cuticles. So yeah, I bought this one on Amazon. I'm gonna have it linked down below for you guys definitely recommend and you know the good thing about this is even if you don't have like a fresh mani just because your cuticles look moisturized and nice it isn't you can even tell that you have like a old ass manicure so if you don't moisturize your cuticles what are you doing sis the next two items that i want to talk about is going to be these guys right here and these are by the drunk elephant the first one is which is this one is going to be the a passioni retinol cream so this is retinol and the other one is a super peptide reserve cream or reserve like resurfing serum sorry and this one has 1.0 percent retinol and this one has 10 percent lactic acid and 11 signal peptides and i cannot tell you guys how much these two products have transformed my skin it has helped me with like the overall appearance the look of my skin the usefulness of my skin the like the surface of it my skin used to be so bumpy because i am like the queen of whiteheads for some reason like i don't understand like i I don't get it like the math in math in for me but i guess that's just what my skin does and these two products even though they're very pricey they are so freaking worth it so freaking worth it this one right here the retinol is a little bit stronger than you know most so i would only use this at night i wouldn't really use it during the day if you do use it during the day which you can you have to make sure you follow up with SPF right away because you cannot step out into the sun with this product without having protection on because it's pretty strong. But if you were curious or trying to find like a new um, retinol or a new serum for your skin, I definitely recommend you try these two because they are so, so good. If you don't want to go ahead and like spend the money because I believe they're like $80 each. If you don't want to go ahead and spend the money, if you go to Sephora, they do have like um, testers that you can get, samples. So good. That's exactly how I fell in love with them though. I actually went into Sephora. I was reading about it because I was shopping for new retinol and new serums and I saw these great reviews. So I went ahead and got some testers and listen sis, your girl was back a week later was like, listen, give me the big bottles. Give me the big bottles. I want it all. The next item is gonna be pretty much the perfume that I've been wearing the whole year the whole entire year i believe i got this perfume for valentine's day was it valentine's day of 20 21 it was for one of the most like romantic holidays it's gonna be this one right here and i'm almost out y'all no this is the ysl libre um perfume i got this as a gift for my boyfriend and he knew how badly i wanted this perfume and he went ahead and got this for me and i cannot tell you how expensive luxurious just all around <clears throat> this perfume smells every single time that i wear this people stop me in the street people stop me at the mall people stop me at my job like everybody and their mother every time i wear it, my boyfriend be like because like, he's like is that what i got you like you smell you smell pricey this is what this gives this gives like pricey smell so so good first of all look at the bottle like the packaging is undefeated like ysl come through with the come through and i have to say this is probably one of the most like long lasting fragrances that i've ever owned and i have a big collection of perfumes because perfumes are my thing and if you've been here for a while you know that i'm kind of a collector of things so i can't just have one or ten of something i need to have like 30 to 50. um 
this one is definitely one of my favorite perfumes of all time and this is pretty much what i what i wore the whole year of 2021 because why would i wear anything else like why now i've been taking a break on it because i'm running low and it is expensive it's not a cheap perfume it's it, it's in the you know almost 200 um but definitely recommend if you're looking for something that's very luxurious just very different something that's gonna stop the traffic something that's gonna make people be like hold up sis like yeah this is the one next up is going to be a little simple item and it's going to be this one right here as you can see this is a little silicone face scrub and i'm gonna add this to this video because out of all of the face brushes face scrubbers things that i have for my face this little dollar item that i bought at the dollar tree it came i think it was like two of these in one pack from dollar tree has been my holy grail like I have not want to use anything else. This is the most compact, to the point, easy access, just wham, bam, thank you, man type of product. And I cannot recommend this enough. This is what it looks like. It's literally a small silicone face scrub and you basically put your fingers like this, you add the product and then you just scrub your face. This is so amazing because it is just that simple. It's a little bit extra, you know, scrubbing power from scrubbing with your fingers but it's also very, very gentle, it's very soft, and it just does a great job at like, you know, exfoliating your skin gently, buffing the product into the skin. It's just, it's just amazing. I bought this at the Dollar Tree again. These come in a packet, in a pack of two. Um, I have one for me and one for my teenage daughter because we love these. And I actually go ahead and just use a little suction part, which I don't know if it's supposed to be that, but it looks like it and it works like that. I actually put this in the shower, so every morning when I shower, I just, right there, amazing, amazing, definitely recommend. Stop buying those big spin brushes, I used to have them, I still have them in a bin somewhere, but I don't even use them. Stop buying the big silicone ones, no, that's it, that's a dollar, you're welcome. The next item is going to be this one right here, and it's going to be this really cute makeup bag by Merit Beauty. I actually did a collaboration with Merit Beauty a few months ago. I'm going to go ahead and tag the video in one of these two corners so you guys can check out the brand. Really, really good makeup. Um, and the makeup came with this beautiful uh, corduroy um, makeup bag, and it basically opens like this. You see? Really, really cute and you basically just tie it up like that and this is my every single day makeup bag like this is the makeup that i have that i keep in my car i take with me anywhere like my travel makeup this is it i have all the stuff that i need for a full face bead in this little bag if you guys want to see what i have in this bag i'll do a separate video of what i keep in my everyday makeup bag but yes how cute is this bag like just look at this i believe they also have this bag in black i'm not 100 percent sure but i think i saw it on their instagram page and it's really really cute but this one is just so classy so chic honestly i could even use this as like another bag of something else to go out because it's such a cute little bag and it's it looks so sophisticated and chic i don't know i love it i love it this next item is probably one of my favorite items in the whole haul today because I've been using this product for a, a little bit over two years now and it's pretty much the only lip product that I use except, you know, now because I'm filming and I made this, you know, I had this red lip and stuff, but this is my every single day lip product. This is the Clinique Black Honey um, Lipstick and is it lipstick? I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like almost lipstick. I think it's what it's called. This is the travel size. And what I love about this um, lip product, look at that beautiful color. This one, again, is in the shade Black Honey. Apparently, this is going viral on TikTok. I had no idea that this was so popular. I got this little uh, travel size or sample size once and a as a gift from Sephora because I had a bunch of points and I fell in love with it two years ago. And I used that one for like those whole two years because a, like this little guy goes a long way. Like you will literally wear this because it stays on for such a good amount of time and it's so moisturizing. So good. You don't even have to reapply. It's so freaking good. Um, it's sold out everywhere. 
and I haven't been able to find it. And I just recently found this one again, just I think it was last weekend, because I went to Philly and I was asking um, in the Macy's store and this girl was like, listen, it's been sold out for months, but I do have a gift set from Clinique that if you buy it, it has the travel size in there. And I was like, what? The big size is $20 and this one came in a, a gift set with a bunch of other lip products for just 25 bucks. So I was like, sign me the hell up because I had the same exact size for two years and it was perfectly fun and it lasted me a really, really long time. So your sis got her hand on this guy and just in due time because my other one, like it's gone. Like I literally like, that's it, there's no more. So. I cannot link this product. I am sorry, it's sold out everywhere, but it's the Clinique Black Honey. If you can find it or go to Clinique.com or Ulta and put the notification um, thing there so they can notify you when it comes back in stock because you will not want to use anything else ever again, ever again. Last thing in the beauty sort of, you know, lineup that i have there it's gonna be these two guys right here and i don't even have to tell you much because you guys already see the label you see the bottles you know you know what time it is this is the olaplex number five and olaplex number four or olaplex number four olaplex number five shampoo and conditioner by the brand olaplex duh i also love the um olaplex number three which i was gonna add into this video but I ran out of it and I can't find the little empty bottle. I might have thrown it away. I don't know. But yes, the Olaplex line has been my holy grail this past year because my hair ha my hair's been falling out, guys. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's stress. I don't know if it's depression. I don't know if it's just COVID. If it's just, I don't know what it is, but my hair, even though it's very, very long, it's been falling out by the chunks, like falling, not breaking, falling. So I've been using this just to give my hair a little bit more strength, just to like build the bond, just, just kind of do whatever I can to just boost the strength of my hair and the overall health of my hair. And this guy, I'm telling you, I, 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 I don't want to use anything else. This is amazing. Amazing. And just in case you guys were wondering where I buy these, I actually buy these at Sephora, but Ulta now sells them as well. So when these run out, I'll definitely go next door to Ulta and get them because Ulta is my favorite makeup store. So yeah. Moving on to electronics. The first item is going to be this right here. And you guys know what's up. You guys know what's up. You guys know what's up. I love me some Polaroid pictures. This is my Polaroid camera. I gifted this to myself a year and a half ago or so. Last year, with my travels and all of my vacations and all of my activities with my kids, all I did was just take Polaroid pictures. And I cannot tell you how happy I am that I invested the $200 on this camera because this camera has helped me capture the most beautiful memories. I was able to take it with me to Dominican Republic and take a photo of my great grandpa and with my kids. You guys know how badly I wanted to take photos of my great grandpa with my kids. I believe, hold up, I might have them in this album. I actually went ahead and went to Amazon and I found a Polaroid photo album and I purchased it because I wanted to have all of my Polaroid pictures. Look how nice they look. I wanted to have all of my Polaroid pictures accessible to me. I wanted to be able to look at, you know, my photos. The thing with me is that, like I find so much value in like tangible things, like tangible things like photos. Like I do appreciate my phone and having all of my photos on my phone, but like being able to sit down and like look at a photo album, I feel like people don't do that anymore. And I am able to do that now because I have my Polaroid camera. And I don't think I have that picture here. I have it probably in my passport book, but I have to go get it because I definitely want to add those to my um my photo album. Let me show you guys some of the pictures that I have. So these are the ones that I went to uh, Dominican Republic. I just uh, went in November with Craig. Here you go and you can see. These are, I think, yeah, all four of these are from the Dominican Republic trip that we just went to in November. And I have some more right here super cute look at this guy living his best life i'm done i'm so done i have some other ones from my girls trip to miami with my girls right here this one was at a friend's get together my besties my beautiful sisters my baby meki some of my team members from coach this was at the uh hotel room that we were in in miami 
Oh, I love these pictures. I love memories. So cute. Look at my little Mecky. How cute is she? Look at her. Oh, look at her. <laughs> anyway, yes. So if you have not invested the money and gotten yourself a Polaroid camera, I definitely recommend you get one because it just feels different to look at memories on photos that you can actually touch, photos that you can kiss, photos that you, that you can have with you in your car, on your fridge, just, you know, in a book, in a Bible, as a, like, book, um, what's it called? You, you know what you use to, like, mark a page, like a, like a bookmark? A bookmark, yes, wow, wow my brain went somewhere there anyway you don't have to buy this one this one's the, like the more expensive one they do have one for 99 dollars, which i believe is the white one i bought this one just because i'm i don't freaking know I'm, I'm like that but yes look how beautiful she is i love her i love her super cute super cute this one i think the reason why i got it is because you can download the app and sync it to it and you can set a timer on the app if you want to take selfies of yourself so sometimes you know if you want to take full, like Polaroid pictures of yourself and you don't have somebody to take them, you can just prop up your camera and just put a timer on your phone and just snap your own pictures, boo. Okay? Okay. And just so you know, this camera I actually bought at Target. They have a bunch of cameras there. That's where I buy my cameras and my films and stuff like that. Definitely recommend. Okay, so the next product that I want to talk about goes hand in hand with my Polaroid camera and it's going to be this one right here. I did not have this for the whole year of 2021, but I did get it in 2021 as a gift um for my boyfriend craig i saw this because my girl melody posted it and i was like what there is such a thing this looks like a polaroid camera but it's not it's just part of the polaroid family this is a polaroid printer so that means that means that if you don't have a polaroid camera and you're just not into too much you know taking photos with the polaroid camera you can get yourself a polaroid printer and you can print any photo from your phone into a actual polaroid photo you heard what i said you don't have to own the camera if you don't want to if you just want to have photos that you have in your phone already printed as polaroid pictures you can just get this and save yourself the struggle of having to buy the camera and have it to carry with you everywhere. I like to have the camera because, you know, that's how I am. But I am blessed to have both. My boyfriend really came through for me and got me this because he knew I wanted it. And I'm so, so grateful for this. Um, I kind of want to show you guys how it works. You guys got time? You, you got time to wait and see how it works? All right, bet. So um, this is basically what it looks like. Just to show you guys really quickly. This is the button for like snapping the photo. And this is the lid for the cover of the top. As you can see right here, what you do is you basically raise this up, which turns on the device. And I don't think I have enough film in here. Hold up. Hold up. Let me make sure I have film because I don't think this one has any more film. Okay, this one's empty. So I'm going to take the one out from the Polaroid camera because I believe this one does have film. And I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, it has, I think, maybe one or two. So I'm going to show you guys how it works. You basically put your film in. You put your film in. Oh, lovely. This took a picture of nothing. So that's a wasted film right there. Hopefully that wasn't the last one. So basically what you do is you go into your phone. I'm going to go in my phone and I'm going to find a photo that I really like. Actually, I found the perfect picture. This is a picture of my mom and my daughter Isabella on her, I think this was her 13th birthday. No, this was her 12th birthday. Um, I think I want to print this one because this is a very beautiful picture. It's probably one of my favorite pictures. I actually have another one. Oh, actually this one. Look how beautiful she is. May she rest in peace, my beautiful mommy. I think I'm gonna do this one just because it's showing her face and I love her face. You go into the app. So you're gonna go into the Polaroid app. You, let me show you guys what the app looks like. This is what the app looks like right here. You go into the Polaroid app and it's gonna ask you which device you wanna sync it to. I already have my Polaroid camera synced. So it shows this and then I recently added this. So it's gonna show you that. So you basically select the Polaroid Lab, which is the name of the device. 
and you're gonna go ahead and upload the photo to the app that you want. So I have it right there. So you basically crop it to how you want it. And I think that's fine. So this gives you the option to print more than just one. Like if you wanted to do like a photo collage, I have it in the single mode right now, but if you go to double, it basically splits the photo into two. You can do this, you can do this, and it's gonna print them back to back pretty much. You can do that. Like depending if, you ha if you're doing like scrapbooking and things like that, you can print them out however you want. So this is how I'm gonna do it, which is super cute. And what you do is then you hit here. You have to make sure that your phone's light settings are like fine. You don't have anything crazy going on. And basically it's gonna tell you now place the phone down on top of this and you basically have to uh, match these two dots with the two dots that are right here so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys oh hold up i'm gonna go ahead and place it and when you see this when you hear that sound it's basically telling you it's okay to print so i'm gonna go ahead and press the button and it's gonna print the picture for me so I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. That whole outcast song of shake it like a Polaroid picture, you're not supposed to shake a Polaroid picture. And I was educated on this by a true photographer. So don't shake your Polaroid picture. Just lay it down somewhere with light because light is what helps it develop. So, you know, the photo's taken. I'm gonna come back later before the video ends to show you guys the photo once it's been developed. I'm gonna just put it on the side for now. And I'm basically going to, you know, just exit out of this. And for you to turn this off, you basically just bring this guy down. It turns it off and you want to protect the camera. You put this on top and you just go on your merry way. I also wanted to show you guys really quickly. I know that I'm, I'm dragging this particular item along because I am so passionate about it. I wanted to show you guys some of the other photos that I was able to develop um, with the Polaroid Lab. This is one of them, which I took with my phone when I went to Dominican Republic. So cute. Look at that. Look how vintage it looks. I personally prefer the black film, um, but they're not always easy to find because I guess everybody else likes black film as well. But white is fine. I don't have an issue. Um, actually, all of these photos right here I took with my iPhone and I was able to like the same night that I got the Polaroid lap, I went ahead and printed them out. Look how beautiful they look. And these were all photos that I took with my iPhone and I was able to print out and now have in an album, which is amazing. Um, all of these as well. Actually, except for these four, except for these four, these right here were also taken um, with my iPhone. Super cute. And uh, yeah, I think those were the only ones that I was able to take with the phone and printed them out with the photo lab but yes definitely recommend if you have listen just get it just get it i, I believe it was a hundred dollars or so he got me this one off of amazon but you can also go to best buy and buy it there i don't know if it's cheaper on best buy but get it moving on to the next item because this video is already looking like it's 39 minutes long oh i hope you guys got popcorn for this video um it's gonna be this guy right here and this is my handy dandy label maker because charges go missing here. Everything goes missing here. This is mine. No, this is yours. No, this one's yours. No, this was mine. Guess what? Now we know because now everything, everything has a name. Everything is labeled. Everything is labeled. This is basically what boosts my OCD. Ooh, it matches with my sweater. Cute. This is basically what boosts my OCD because sometimes... I'm looking for my iPad charger, but my stepdaughter is using it, but she thinks it's her charger, but it's really mine or vice versa. Now we don't have that issue because now everything in their mother is labeled. Let me show you guys what I have here. My, one of my iPad chargers. Let me show you guys. This is what I did. I basically labeled it Lacks Me iPad. And I actually labeled the cord as well because they can both get detached and then one thing can get lost and you know, oh, the box is yours, but the cord is mine. No. It's not. It has my name on it now, so it's mine. But anyway, definitely recommend you get this if you want to have things more organized, if you want to just label anything, water bottles for your kids, just chargers around the house, anything. 
definitely recommend this one's super super cute i believe this one was like 30 dollars. i bought this one at staples last not it wasn't i actually got this in 2020 at the end of 2020 that's when i got it at the end of 2020 and i've literally used it all year long for everything i label things at work i label things around the house love it the one of the things that i really like about this one too is that it has so many different fonts you can change the fonts you can add little symbols super freaking cute the next item that i want to talk about is this one right here and this one is a very special book that i feel like i am still not done reading um this one is the five love languages of children by gary chapman if you guys know anything about me you guys know that i am insanely obsessed with the topic of the love languages and it's one of my favorite things to talk about and honestly i didn't know about this book and when i found out that they had one for children it was like wow i'm gonna get a little candid with you guys like i feel like you know me having three kids sometimes it can be a little bit stressful to just kind of like understand and be patient because it's very exhausting being a mother and having kids with different personalities different needs different you know behaviors and when you work so much and when you have so much going on sometimes you could just lose sight of you know certain things in motherhood and I feel like I found myself sometimes just feeling very overwhelmed and not being able to understand my kids needs and my kids are wonderful kids wonderful kids and they all receive love in different ways and I feel like as I've been reading this book it's been really helping me sort of like understand how each one of my girls accepts love like for example my middle child she is physical touch like that little girl will want to hug and kiss and just smother people 24 7 it's insane my little one loves lo words of affirmation like and i think that's the leo in her that like big ego that she just wants to hear that she's loved that she's beautiful that she's the smartest that she's just the best so you know i've been able to learn my kids love languages through this isabella loves quality time like my daughter loves to just have one-on-one -on -one time sometimes she just, i think she just wishes she could just kidnap me and just spend a whole month away with me alone without her sisters um in a perfect world that could happen but let's be realistic we can't just always do that but i feel like this book has really helped me understand how my kids receive love and it's teaching me how to speak their love language because you know how it is with love languages you usually love the language that you speak so for me words of affirmation and quality time are like my main love language and i feel like that's what i try to like love my kids with but they don't always receive love that way you know and if you take the test if you go on the website for gary chapman and you take the love language test it will basically tell you like your top three love languages and in order of which one's the first one and which one's the least one or what or the last one or whatever and i feel like this book has been amazing i actually put this on my instagram the other day and everybody was like oh my god i didn't even know he had one for kids i didn't know it either i didn't know it either and i feel like i'm not even done reading this book and i've and i've it's a lot please get this book if you are a single parent a married parent if you're a parent in general if you're an aunt and an uncle if you just want to learn how to be able to like understand how the little ones in your life receive love i definitely recommend this i feel like i've gotten pretty good at being able to tell how adults like receive and give love for like example like my boyfriend he and i speak very different love languages like he likes acts of service and he likes gifts you know what i mean like me i am quality time and words of affirmation i want to be told i love you all the time i want to be cuddled up in the couch watching a movie with the lights off when the kids go to sleep like that's kind of like the stuff that's important to me but he like he receives love in a different way i try to love him in my love language but that's not how he receives love so you know it's it's kind of complicated that's why you have to kind of like try to work through it and just find a way to learn how to speak your significant others or your family members or your kids love languages so they can also learn how to love you in your love language let me not i just went on a tangent let me just let me just really let me bring it back <laughs> let me bring it back this one i bought on amazon for eight dollars eight dollars on amazon go get it really quickly let me show you guys what the photo is looking like look at how beautiful it's not even fully developed yet and it has this beautiful like vintage filter to it so freaking beautiful.
Look at my mommy. Oh, I love this. So beautiful. This is going into my album as soon as it's done developing. I just shook my Polaroid picture. I'm such a fraud. Don't ever listen to me. I'm such a fraud. I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, the next item that I want to talk to you guys about is going to be this one right here. And I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this before because this is probably one of my favorite items that I own because it is such a lifesaver. Me, I am the kind of person who gets bored very easily and I like to do things with entertainment. So for example, like if I'm cleaning my house on a Sunday, I have to have the music blasting super loud. If I'm doing dishes, I like to put my Bailey Sarian YouTube channel on to watch my Murder Mystery and Makeup Mondays because I just, I can't, I, I can't just, I need to be able to watch or hear something in the background when I'm doing things. And this stand right here has been a lifesaver for me. Not just because of that, but because also when I want to take photos of myself and I don't have somebody around to take a, a photo of me, I can just basically put my phone in here and snap a selfie. I'm going to show you guys basically how it works. You basically put your phone on this right here and look how well it attaches it. And there you go. This bottom part is very, very heavy. So your phone is going nowhere. I love that you can go ahead and flip it like this and you can lifted you can turn it up you can turn it down if you're going to be recording like reels tiktoks things like that this is the perfect freaking stand for you it's 30 dollars, i believe something like that i'm not 100 percent sure but anyway i love it i've had it for almost two years now but it wasn't until like last year that i was like oh like i have this stand here let me just use it for you know, playing my podcast or playing my videos when I'm doing the dishes or when I'm cooking. When I'm cooking, pretty much, I set this up on the counter in the kitchen and I put my favorite YouTubers and I just literally, the time flies by. It really flies by. It's insane. I also like that it has this big, like, tray like um, area here where I put certain things that I don't want to get wet. Like, for example, if I'm doing the dishes or if I'm cooking, I take off my rings, my watch, my bracelet, whatever I have, and just put it on top while my stuff is playing. It don't get no better than that. Another thing that I really like about this is that it also fits an iPad. Um, I have an iPad mini and I actually can fit, fit it here perfectly fine. Like not the long way, but like the other way. And then I flip it to however I want it, which is amazing. Amazing. I actually got this on Amazon. I definitely recommend, especially if you want to have something that you can take selfies with. If you want to be able to record videos on like different areas, this can go anywhere. And because this is very heavy in the bottom, it's super sturdy, it's gonna go nowhere. All right, you guys, so we're down to the last three little silly items, but these are things that I just cannot be without. Um, the next thing is gonna be this water bottle right here. This is like a thermal, thermal water bottle. This one I actually got from Coach, and I cannot tell you how much I love this freaking water bottle. The main thing that makes me love this water bottle is the fact that I put cold water in here and 24 hours later, the water is still freezing cold because it's insulated. So it keeps your water at whatever temperature you put it in there. So if you put tea, it's going to stay warm for a really long time. If you put water, it's going to stay cold for a really long time. And I cannot tell you how much I love this water bottle. Love it. I am the kind of person who likes to drink my water really, really cold. I get really, really thirsty every single night at three o'clock in the morning. At three o'clock in the morning, I wake up religiously every single night to drink cold water. So this I've been having right at my nightstand. So when I wake up, I can drink my very cold water without having to even get up from my bed. Amazing. And what I love the most is that, of course, by 3 a.m., my water that I refilled at eight o'clock at night is still freezing cold, which is it's perfect. It's literally perfect. If you guys have never tried getting one of these water bottles, I definitely recommend. Even if you don't like cold water, if you like get teas or coffee, things like that, this is what you want. This is what this one looks like. I don't think we have any more at the Coach store, um, but you can check out the website. I know we did have some black ones left in my store, per like particularly, but I don't know if they have any more in the website. If they do, I'll try to link for you guys, but I definitely recommend you guys get yourself one of these water bottles next item is super silly but hear me out hear me out i was always the kind of girl who had a sweet tooth when i was pregnant my i think it's true what they say like girls give you like sweet cravings and i only craved sweet things when i was pregnant with my kids i've never really had a sweet tooth like that but i found these gummy bears last year 
these right here and i have been severely obsessed with these gummy bears and this is pretty much my favorite candy ever at this point mind you i might sound like i'm being exaggerative like i just is that even a word exaggerative i don't know I'm, me making up these english words i don't know if that's even a word i'm being exaggerated let's just call it that but i promise you there's nothing more disgusting than going to buy a bag of gummy anything and it'd be like the really hard gummy that you have to really like just drill with your teeth because it's just super hard gummy. These gummy bears are so squishy and so soft and so good. Listen. Can nobody tell me nothing? Can nobody tell me nothing. My bag is almost gone. They are so good. So these are by the brand Albanese. And it literally says Albanese world's best. It is the world's best gummy bear. This one is fat free, gluten free and low sodium. And it has 12 different gummy flavors. Now these you can actually find in stores like Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I was surprised because when I first saw them there, I was like, what that's crazy and i discovered these because i went to buy i was shopping around in one of the stores i think it was marshall's and my kids were asking for candy so we went to the aisle where they have like the packaged foods and stuff like that and they each grabbed one of these and i saw it and i was like oh, let me just get myself a little gummy bear whatever even though i knew it was going to be bad because gummy bears have always been horrible for some reason these were so freaking good i got like 10 packs that same day and the little packs were like 2.99 so freaking good the big ones you can actually find at costco I don't have a Costco membership, so I have one of my employees who has a Costco membership get them for me, and I always give her the money because can't live without these. Cannot live without these. We are down to the final item of this haul. This video is already 55 minutes long until I crop it, of course. The last item is going to be the probably the silliest, and it's going to be this right here. <laughs> I know. I know. This is insane. Um, this is the Starbucks caramel non-dairy creamer with almond milk and oat milk inspired by the caramel macchiato at starbies if you guys know anything about me your girl is literally a starbucks addict i actually saw this on a shelf at target and i was like huh you mean to tell me i could have starbies at home for the low low i got it and this has been my favorite creamer ever since I don't want to try any other creamer. No other creamer compares. This is the best one. Again, this is what it looks like. Super freaking delicious. They do sell this, I believe, Walmart, Target, and giant stores. You know, most supermarket stores, I believe, sell them. So delicious. So delicious. Buy this creamer. Try it out. Come back to the comments. Tell me what's up tell me what's up anyway this sums up this video i know it was super super long but a lot of you guys like the really long videos and i really really miss sitting down here and just chatting with you guys and showing you guys my favorite things thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video or any items in it please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up share this video with your friends also let me know in the comments down below what other videos you guys would like to see next before I leave, please don't forget to go check me out on Instagram. If I go MIA on YouTube for whatever reason, I'm usually always active on my Instagram every single day. So there you can keep up to date with what's going on with me, why I've been gone and all that stuff. So if you have an Instagram, go ahead and follow your girl. Send me a DM. Let me know you're part of the excited squad. I answer all of my DMs. Anybody can vouch for that. I literally reply to everybody and their mother because you guys are my family. You guys are my friends. And... I said what I said. Anyway, thank you guys so much and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.